Good morning. We have two subscribers from the Philippines who ask us how to compute for the weighted mean of a problem that looks like this. Let's say you have male and there are 32 males with the following averages. 2.8, 2.4, 2.5, 2.9, 3.2, 2.8, 3, 2.8, 2.6, 2.8, and 2.5. And then there's another column for female. This time there are 48 females and these are the following averages. Now, we are asked to find what is the weighted mean of this data. Now, when we talk about the weighted mean, we want to account for the disparity of the number of males and females in this data set. Notice that there are 32 males and there are more females than male. We have 48 females. In our weighted mean, we would like to account for that greater number of female, so we will assign more weights for the female than the male. So what we are going to do is like this. In the Excel worksheet, we start with the equality sign whenever we want to add a formula. So I put equals. This number 2.8, I click on that. And then multiplication. I'm going to multiply this 2.8 by the weight of the male, which is 32. And then I'm going to add this 2.8 multiplied by the weight of 48. And then I'm going to enclose this in a parenthesis, enclose that in a parenthesis, and divide it by the sum of 32 and 48, which is 80. So divided by 80. Now I enclose this in parenthesis to account for the order of operation. Now I click enter. And I now have the weighted average of this 2, which is 2.8. But since the numbers are the same, I expect the weighted average also to be 2.8. Now, I copy the formula, Control c and then paste that all the way down here. And now I have these weighted averages. So for 2.4 and 3, the weighted average is 2.76. Compare that if I do not put some weights. If I do not put some weights, if I have the unweighted, if I do not put some weight, what I'm going to do is just get the average of this two. So I'm just going to get the average of 2.8 and this 2.8. And then copy that all the way down. The unweighted average now is like this. You have 2.76 for weighted versus 2.7 for the unweighted. That is because female, which is composed of 48 members, has higher value than 2.4. And so we'll have more weights for the female, which has higher average here compared to the value of the male here. That's the reason why the weighted mean is a little bit higher compared to when we do not put some weights on the male and the female values. So these are all the weighted averages row by row. These are the unweighted averages row by row. Now to get the final average, we just have to get the average of this column. So I put equals, type average parenthesis, and then select this part, click shift, and then go all the way down to 2.5 parenthesis, and then enter. So 2.81 is the weighted average and the unweighted average is 2.8. So there is just a little variance. It's 2.81 versus 2.8. But in some data sets, when you can see the stark differences between these two groups, then the weighted mean would be very different than the unweighted mean. Now, if you want to get the averages for the male only, we have 2.75 and for the female is 2.85. Notice also that if you just get the average of 2.75 and 2.85, you will get this unweighted average of 2.8. But if you want to account for the weights of 32 and 48, you can get this 2.81 by writing equals this 2.75 times 32 plus this 2.85 times 48, then put parentheses. and divide by 80. And you will have this weighted mean of 2.81. So in effect, when we say we are computing for the weighted mean, 
we are assigning weights to the different groups such that those groups with more members, that means the M is higher than the other group, must receive higher weights. That is the reason why we call this as weighted mean. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.